the way to do this. Like, how do you go? Yeah. Tattoos kind of marks a time that I can remember. I can look down and, you know, I've got 16 years of different memories all over my body. I remember the first tattoo that I got, the stars on my arm at a, a place in Phoenix. You know, I was playing drums in a punk rock band. Check one, check two. So in high school, instead of, you know, any of us really playing sports, we played a punk rock band. It wasn't like we just didn't give a shit. We really did. We would practice every day for like two hours a day. We just had so much fun doing it. I think when I was 16, we got asked to open up for a band called L7. But it was cool. It was like 600 people, you know, at this show, and we're just like a bunch of little kids. We thought we were so cool. We just had a really tight group of friends, and we were just doing our thing and having a great time. And then it just started becoming a lot of pressure, and it wasn't fun, and it became work. My heart wasn't in it. A lot of people started partying really hard, and it was bad girlfriends and a lot of drugs around and just wanted to get out of Phoenix. You know, there had to have been something else out there for me. So I left playing drums. I moved to San Diego and started working at a restaurant. And I just had so much fun. I was just, you know, making fish tacos and calamari and shucking oysters. And the head chef saw how much fun that I had cooking. He's like, I want to bring you in the main kitchen. So he brought me to the more fine dining restaurant, but I knew there was something more. So I wanted to step up my culinary career and go to one of the best culinary schools that we have. So I went to Cordon Bleu in San Francisco. I like to say I traded my drumsticks for chef knives. I think it's perfect, right? Yeah. yeah. Boom. I was lucky to grow up the way that I did. My parents have always been extremely supportive of me. I could tell even, you know, when it was a little bit hard for them to try and understand me sometimes. But yeah, I've kind of always gone against the current. My dad's even said that, like, over the years. He's like, yeah, you've always kind of just found your own way. Maybe not the easiest way, but I've always just kind of let life take me where it has. Part of what I love about cooking and also tattoos is, you know, you can look back at these moments to link you to a certain memory from your past. A lot of my dishes, you know, I'll try and recreate something that was very American 50s because that's how I was raised. They all rooted from something that was very great at once. A lot of it is very French technique. So it's fun to kind of bring that back again full circle. And so what became very American, kind of recreate again into something of my own. And it's kind of a fun style. It's playful and relatable. My grandmother, we call her Mimi. She created a cookbook, it just got pictures of a lot of old family members and recipes that are not just hers, but have been in our family for years. It's very 50s and you can really tell when you cook it. There's one dish my mom, <laughs> she does, it's called cheese log. It was just always around and you see it at every dinner party. It's so terrible, but it's like awesome. I, I love that dish. Like, you shouldn't like it, but it's, it's so good. <laughs> Sing it, dude. <laughs> Cooking, it doesn't need to be that serious all the time. You know, it should be joyous and playful. All the way. And just like, oh, smell it. You did so good. Oh, baby. Just like a song, just like a picture, a smell can bring back just as many memories. Food is funny like that. And I think everyone has at least that one dish they grew up with that they always remember having. My grandmother's brisket is pretty much like coming home and it brings back all those memories that you had of growing up with your family. We'd show up at my grandparents' house. I remember driving down there with my parents and my brother. We'd come up to the door and you could smell the brisket. 
Brisket definitely represents family, represents home, represents my friends. People try and do so many different things on a plate, but you can really just simplify it and make it taste just as good. If you have great ingredients and you have like some simple, solid techniques, it goes a long way. Cooking is meant to be shared. It's something that brings people together and I love doing that. I don't think I've ever had it with like fresh chips though. Oh my god, it's amazing. <laughs> my friends were always just as important as my family, you know, and we'll just all hang out and have the, the best night. There definitely are family here in Los Angeles. And that's why I love cooking. It's my way of sharing home.